Hello everyone, my name is MJ and today I'm going to tell you the 8 steps to having a successful YouTube channel. Step 1 is to take care and pride in the quality of the content that you produce. Make sure that you have got good audio, make sure that you have got good lighting and make sure that your frame is all sensible and just all of the production quality is there. You don't have to be an editing wizard to have good production values. You can have a very plain background, make sure you've got good audio, keep all the windows closed, have a bit of soundproofing if you need it. That is literally just some foam on the wall to stop reverberating sound waves. And if you've got a viewfinder on your camera, that's perfect as well. Make sure that you're fully in shot. And then always have the lighting source facing you not behind you. Step two, make sure that you pack plenty of personality into your videos. Don't be afraid to be yourself on the videos. Part of this depends on what type of channel you want to make, like there are ultra informative channels out there which can be stripped of a little bit of their personality and then you have just a very professional facade on top of it. <laughs> but just don't be afraid to put yourself in the video, be as bold and as vibrant as you are in real life and that is what will make people come back to your channel. Step three is be bold and seize the initiative. Have a look at what is popular, uh, consider trends, what can you bring to the table in that realm and go about it with some gutso and some mozzi. For example, unicorn stuff is very on fleek and on trend at the moment. I personally think it's all a bit mental, it's just rainbow food stuff, but that doesn't stop me from creating content like that to try and seek and cling on to internet stardom. Step four is interact with your community. Your community and the people who feel inspired enough to comment are gonna be your key contributors to your success. They are gonna be the ones returning again and again, so you wanna make sure that you give them a good level of customer care. Make sure you respond to comments frequently and try and remember your frequent commenters and involve them, you know, if you need to do, not, not shout out, but, oh, thanks for this comment that inspired me to do this. That kind of thing that's going to be really gratifying to your subscribers and they will get their friends into it, no doubt. Step five is don't be annoying. Now, this might be a bit of a controversial step because actually so many YouTubers are incredibly irritating and incredibly popular. So maybe, do be annoying. <laughs> Step six is try and deliver regular content. If you can think of some key and easy and straightforward ideas that you will, ideas? Ideas that you will be able to do regularly. Regularly. If you can think of some key ideas or series regular contents that you can come up with and create easily, then it's definitely a good idea to do that and make sure that you put them on a regular schedule. For example, put them all on like Friday afternoons. Make sure that you get that regularity going. I'm no expert, but I have heard that YouTube looks at this in its algorithms. But who the hell knows what an algorithm is? Step seven, ask your community for help and ask them to subscribe. Does it work? The jury is out, but certainly if you put uh, probably early into your videos, 10, 20 seconds in, put a little tiny little bite you don't want to scare them off and annoy them with four minutes worth of adverts we're worth of adverts but just a five second clip hey subscribe to me guys i've got regular content and i've got a really cool harley quinn video coming soon if it was a comic book video channel for examples margot robbie don't overdo it but yeah personally i do a nice mix of adverts at the end and uh kind of promotions up front. Subscribe to my vlog channel, The Life of Michael Jameson, where you can see me ride roller coasters. Would be an example of one. But do go over there and subscribe because it's a good channel. <laughs> and the eighth step to becoming successful on YouTube is ignore slash embrace the haters. You will get haters, you will get dislikers, you may even get waves of dislikes and then they'll dissipate and then you'll get waves of people calling you a big fat stupid twat and then you'll get waves of people being nice to you. You just have to roll with the punches. The internet is a platform. You are putting yourself on display like a peacock in a zoo showing its f stupid analogy. You are putting yourself on display so you have to put up some kind of barrier. If you are a sensitive person you just need to consider that People 
online are largely anonymous and they will say anything and you've got some really fucked up people online anyway so just accept that you're going to get some really freaking horrible comments and either give as good as you get that's what i do without breaking youtube's terms and conditions or just ignore them don't respond to them youtube does have a function where you can ban someone from your channel but they don't even realize that they're banned so they think they can keep writing comments uh, but actually no one sees the comments and including you so there is a guide of how to be successful on youtube you can tell it works because i've got loads of channels one of them has around 12,000 subscribers as i'm filming this one of them has about four thousand one of them has about one thousand and then i've got several that have got uh, i think one of my smallest channel has three subscribers so if you do everything i did on that channel you'll be guaranteed to make a success of your life in your youtube channel <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of Colours. In this episode, we'll be briefly discussing Cochlear Cut. Thanks very much for watching everyone and subscribe for more videos. Cheers. <laughs>